Hi everybody! Today we're going to be using this copper cleaning polish to clean the Hovel pencil sharpener. Let's go! Now while I am researching better tripods or ways to hold my phone on my new desk um, I'm going to be holding it with my, the phone with my hand, so I only have one hand free. So I keep the hovel, as you know, in this little velvet bag. So it's going to be hard for me to do things <laughs> with one hand. So I might have to keep cutting the video and editing a lot more, okay? So basically the supplies I'm using for this are the copper polish, I've got some water in this plastic little pot here, just basic water. I've got some Q-tips or cotton buds, whatever you call them, and some paper towel. So first of all, going to get the hovel out of there and put the bag to one side. You can see it's looking used, <laughs> a little bit shinier than before because I did I felt guilty but it was so tainted <laughs> so I used the tissue to make it look a little bit more shiny. So what I'm going to do is remove the blade so that means unscrewing and I don't know if I can uh, can't do that one handed so it would just and while I'm here I'm going to show you an easier way of putting the blade in without having to touch the, the the blade so much so basically I've just flipped it up and it's loose so you've got this little base here and if you want to just pick it up remember the magnets that are here so without holding the blade hold this turn it over and do that and pick it up with the, uh, the little ledge thing and you then only have to touch very little I mean I've put it in the wrong way but you see what I mean you don't have to touch it as much as I was before so put that over there we have this now and we have the hovel loose. We'll put the blade out of the way and we will put the blades out the way. So all we now have are the screw, the actual sharpener and the blade holder and that's what we're going to apply polish to. And what I'm going to do is get a q-tip and dip it into the polish. Okay, q-tip Dip it into this weirdo solution. Did we pick enough up? And then, ah, here we go. So it's a creamy. So what we want to do is just really circular motions, very gently. And make sure it's all covered and looking creamy. And then it will probably so, oh wow, look at all that dirt coming off on the Q-tip. Once it's kind of turned white, I suspect, from the polish, we will then be putting it into some water to rinse off the polish. I might be using another Q-tip, I think. Dip it into there. Because this needed more. It's nice having a nice piece of equipment that is everlasting. I can drop this on the floor as often as I like and it isn't going to break. 
And all I have to do is replace the blades, which are not costing the earth. So that's really good. Still going black. <laughs> Do the screw later. Getting through the cotton buds, but it's good because we're not going to be doing this too often. It's more like maybe you know, I would only do this maybe three times a year, possibly. be fun once we rinse off the cream. Doing this one handed is kind of fun. It's got a mind of its own. Flip it over, just do here. There we are. It's starting to look cleaner already. Before my eyes, it's become lighter. So I'm not sure if it's got to set and go white or, or not. Normally, the polish does have to go white. I remember from polishing silver, it does always go white, but I've not used copper polish before. So I'll wait a little longer. I can see here it's starting to go white, little areas. So we've probably got to give it 10 minutes to, to dry and then we'll rinse it off and then we're going to dry it. So it's like a three-stepped cleaning thing. That's why you really you want to do it twice a year. My um, cleaning stuff for copper actually does say on the bottle here that it is a, a lotion for aluminium and stainless steel and bronze and brass and gives a profound wash with long brilliance so the brilliance see the shine is going to last for a long time but with how long i like many times i use this it's like three times a year maybe twice a year you know i'm not actually i've done this for you guys to show you how to clean it but i'm not actually that bothered about it being shiny i just need it to work <laughs> but yeah i can see we're setting oh yes we are setting we're going white so we've had 10 minutes near as damn it and I'm going to pick him up and put them into the water and kind of leave them in there for a bit just so it can all get loose a bit all of that stuff and then I'll be putting them onto this paper and giving them a thorough drying. Shake them around in there. Kind of get your fingers in because you want to rub off the cream that's 
on it. So you're basically giving it a, a rinse. And then put it there. And the same with the other little bits that are fiddly. <laughs> Not bad with one hand. Lost with this but nut thing. There we go. Right. There we go. So we're now put the paper over and pat them off and basically once they're dry we've then got to um, rub them up as it's called with a dry piece of kitchen paper or a soft duster. So I say it is a process to look after your equipment but if you do look after it properly it's going to last you a lifetime just helps it to work and look better a feel good factor as well to pull out a nice clean sharpener every time you want to use it so you'll see probably some tarnish will come off the more that you are rubbing and it could be you might have to do it again to get the tarnish off it could be that it didn't I mean mine was really really tarnished it could be that you've got to do two cleans depends but I can see a big difference just from doing that it's become much lighter than it was so I'm just going to off camera give it a dry and a bit of a rub and I'll come back oh, and show you just look at that big improvement in shininess but I am still tempted because you're supposed to be able to see the name Hovel here I think here is still very tarnished because of how often I have used it so I might just do one more polish on there. Yeah, look how dirty on the second clean of this area. I'm still getting a lot of dirt off. Because basically I might even have to do it a third or fourth time. Because remember I'm using a lot of graphite so it can all get add to the tarnish. Ugh, yuck. I might even do a fourth, just keep doing it, just to get all of it off. Then you let it dry and then you rinse it off and then you dry it and rub it up with dry kitchen paper or duster like I said before. be nice that's my achievement I wish to do is the goal is to get the hopeful uh, name to appear because this is where it should be aha now can we see here can you see I'm seeing that this black that's here is lifting and we're getting brass color coming here and real dirty cotton buds <laughs> so we'll have to just keep doing it adding the polish and rubbing the dirt away and once you've done a real good clean and you keep on top of it once a month or so if that's what you want to do to keep it really clean then you know, you can. It's nice to see how much work it takes to get it really shiny. Of course, this is the cutting area, so that's why it's going to be dirty. I mean, extra dirty. That's where all of the pencil dirt is going and where the blade sits okay now 
once that dries, the next time I put the camera on, it will have been in the water, been rinsed off, and I will have dried it. Just look at that shine. Much, much cleaner. And you can see the name Hovel. I know my lighting's not that great, but the name is there. So it's ever so much cleaner than it was. So it's now time, though I must rub this part up. So back in a moment. Just look how shiny this is. I'm super happy with the results and it was so easy and simple to clean the hope. Just look at the reflection off of this mat. Off of this mat you can see these lines here and then they're reflecting in the pencil sharpener because it's so shiny. <laughs> so I hope you found this video helpful and useful and you might think that the Hovel is a good choice for you. I can't recommend it enough. I really, really love using this Hovel. It's just so practical. And so guys, I will see you on the next video. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up, share my video, comment if the comments are switched on. I'm still having trouble with them being auto set to off every time I publish a video. And I will see you soon. Bye.